Hello, it's the end of November, so I thought I would do my review of the month. Um, and I have had a very up and down sort of November, but I'll go through the list of things I'm gonna go through, so I've got my list here. So in the past month, I've read lots of books actually. I got quite into reading over November, but the first one I read that I really enjoyed was My Sweet Revenge by Jane Fallon. And it's about a woman who's been married a long time and finds out her husband's having an affair and instead of confronting him, it's all about what she decides to do instead. And I found it really thought provoking and obviously I've not been married 20 years or something so far. So um, it was quite thought provoking for me. So I really enjoyed that one. And the second one I read was called The Hypnotist Love Story by Leanne Moriarty. I think that's how you, you say the name. Um, she's an Australian writer and she wrote a book all about um, it's basically a love story with this hypnotist, but her new boyfriend has a stalker. And you kind of see the story from the stalker's point of view and the new girlfriend's point of view. And that was also quite thought provoking, but I quite enjoyed that one. That was good. And um, both books had quite a lot of twists and turns, which I found really interesting. And um, I enjoyed them. So uh, I got them from the library, so I can't show you them, unfortunately, but they're both really good books. Um, I was trying to think about something I purchased this month and I've been doing lots of sort of Christmas shopping type of things but nothing I can share with you now because they're all presents for other people. So I haven't bought myself anything that I can think of that's really exciting. In the run up to Christmas I tend to try not to buy anything but I haven't even bought lip balms or anything like that. But I did have my hair coloured, I don't know if you can see, a bit. my friend bleached it and then put some purple in for me. So I guess that's what I did, but I didn't have to pay her for that, so that's quite exciting. Uh, yes, yeah, so that was nice. I've had a few streaks added in. Um, so this month, what I watched, I've been watching Netflix quite a lot because I've been doing lots of preparation and um, uh, so getting advent calendars ready and that sort of thing. And I've watched the entire four series of Mr. Selfridge, which apparently I did watch it when it was on TV when the first series came out. I don't remember it because there was nothing about the story that I remembered. So um, I watched the rest of it and it's quite nice to have one in the background. There's lots of little stories going on and it doesn't really matter if you don't pay too much attention. It's kind of light and fluffy. So that was really good, which leads on to my personal health and fitness wellness goal type things for the next month. So this month of November, I've had a really tough month. I found that as it's been getting darker and the weather's turned colder, I think I suffer from SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder. My GP mentioned it again because I was finding I wasn't coping very well um, and my medication wasn't seeming to work for depression. So that was something I had to get on top of. And I've topped up my medication, but that's why I, I also took a break from filming because it was all a bit much. But I'm back on a better dose that su seems to be suiting me better. And I'm hoping that my goal for December is to keep my mood a bit more stable um, so that we can all enjoy Christmas together rather than me feeling like I need to retreat. Um, the one thing I'm really looking forward to for December is the decorating of our house. I've got lots of ideas. I'm going to try and be as zero waste as possible. And I'm going to make lots of things. So hopefully there'll be lots of little videos coming up for that. Um, next week or next month I need to really wrap up um, my plans for classes next uh, January so I'll be posting those on my website and probably on Facebook too. Oh I thought of something I also did for November that was a bit exciting, I decided to come off Facebook so I still have an account but I don't have the apps on my phone or my iPad pad so if I want to look at Facebook I have to get my laptop out log in and do that and I only do that a few times a week because normally I get my laptop out to do work and I don't fiddle about on the internet so um, that was also something else I was doing for my own wellness because I feel like it was sucking all my time away and for no good reason though I had nothing to show for it so I decided to try cutting it out and it's been a couple of weeks now I'm feeling much better so I'm going to keep my Facebook minimal. I will still post and I will still go on there. I'm just not going to be doing it multiple times per day. So there we go. November. The highs, the lows of, is all over the place. But I'm looking forward to December and um, my husband have at least a week off. 
There's lots of nice shows coming up with my children doing performances at their preschool and school. And I love giving them their presents, so I'm really excited about that. So there's lots to look forward to. And I will try and stay in contact with Bella.